Hey guys, uh, so this is going to be a class to help you improve your Vallejos. So we're going to focus on some of the common areas where we lose control, which is mostly balance, right? So we sometimes take the hip out to the side, we collapse the upper body, or we take the hips forward and the upper body back. So we're going to try to strengthen the back body, the glutes and the hamstrings, and also the ankles, which are all going to support our standing leg. And we're also going to build flexibility through the hip flexors because with the strength of the back body and the flexibility in the front body, we're going to be able to take that leg back further and up higher for the baleo, whether it's in the back or in the front. And then we're also going to work on improving torsion through deepening our twists because having an efficient twist in the baleo will help us with the timing of getting the pivot around um, efficiently. So with that, uh, let's get started. We're gonna begin with our backs on the mat. So go ahead and lie down and bend your knees and take the soles of your feet to the mat. Feet can be hips width apart. And go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And we'll just take a few breaths here, coming into the body. Take one more inhale, exhale, let it out. And then begin to take your knees from side to side. Gentle release for the lower back. Just a few breaths. And then slowly bring your knees back to center, draw them in towards your chest, bring your hands to the tops of your knees and begin to draw circles, taking the knees out to the side and back in through the center. Inhale as you open, exhale as you come together. A few more times on your own breath. And change direction. And then slowly bring your knees back to center. Give them another little squeeze. And extend your left leg long, placing it on the mat. And take your right knee out to the side. And either stay here or grab onto your foot and draw your knee in closer towards your armpit. A little half happy baby. One more breath here. And then take your knee back to center and bring it across the body for a little supine twist. Take your right arm out to the side. Try to keep both shoulders on the mat. One more breath. And then gently guide your knee back to center. Bring your other knee in, hug both knees in towards your chest, and then extend your right leg long, placing it on the mat. Take your left knee out to the side, and maybe you reach for that foot, and take your knee closer towards your armpit.
Take one more breath here. And gently bring your knee back into center and guide it across the body for a supine twist. Left arm can go, up, go out to your side. And slowly bring that knee back to center. Hug both knees in towards the chest. And then begin to roll back and forth a couple times. And with enough momentum, roll all the way up into a tabletop position, stacking your shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. And then reach your right leg long behind you. Extend your left arm forward. Lengthen out through the crown of the head. And then bend your back knee. With your left hand, reach for your foot for a little quad stretch. And gently release the foot, extend your leg and arm back out. Exhale, come back into your tabletop position. Extend your left leg long, reach your right arm forward. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, bend your back knee, reach for your back foot with your right hand. And press the foot into your hand. Gently release your back foot. Extend your arm and leg back out. And exhale, come back into your tabletop position. Walk your hands forward about a handprint, and then press your hips up for a downward facing dog. Drawing your chest towards your thighs and heels towards the mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to, especially if your hamstrings feel really tight. And take a deep breath in, exhale, let it out. And on your next inhale, look to the top of your mat. Step or hop through to a forward fold. You can keep the feet at hips width apart or big toes touching. And again, bend the knees as much as you need to. Root into all four corners of the feet. And on your inhale, lengthen out the spine, flat back, hands can come to shins. Exhale, fold. Root into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms above you. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, plant your hands and step back into a plank position. Draw your belly button in, tuck your tailbone. Press out through your heels. And on your exhale, take your knees down and then slide your chest and chin through your hands, coming up into cobra. Draw your elbows in towards your rib cage, broaden your collarbone, draw your shoulders together. Exhale, press your hips back up for downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Step or hop through forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Lengthen out through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold. Root into the earth, inhale, sweep your arms above you. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into your plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Draw your elbows in towards your ribs. If you need to, you can come all the way down to your mat. And then inhale, come up into cobra or up dog. Press into your hands. Open your chest. Draw your shoulders back. Exhale, press your hips back up for downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it out. 
And on your next inhale, look to the top of your mat. Step or hop through Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift out of that Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Root into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms above you. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back into your plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press your hips back, downward facing. Take two deep breaths here. And then inhale, look to the top of your mat. Step or hop through, forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Root your feet, inhale, sweep your arms above you. Keep your arms above your head this time. And exhale, sit back into chair. Send your hips back. Weight goes into your heels. Draw your knees in towards each other. Draw your shoulders down your back. And spin your pinkies in towards the center. Exhale, sit a little deeper. One more breath, inhale. Then on your exhale, take your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, walk your hands down your back, the back of your legs, lift your chest, and exhale, fold forward with your clasp. Exhale, release your hands down, step back into your plank position. Lower down, chaturanga. Keep your elbows drawing in towards your ribs. Inhale, come up into cobra or up dog. Exhale, press your hips back, downward facing. Inhale, extend your right leg behind you. Exhale, open your hip, bend your knee. Try to keep both shoulders facing forward. And notice here we're already resembling the position of a boleo somewhat in the lower body, in the, in the back leg. So just take a moment to notice what's happening in your body here. And then inhale, square your hips back to center, reach your right leg long. Exhale, step between your hands. If you need to take a few steps to get there, that's okay. Coming into our quick runner's lunge, stack your right knee above your ankle, press out through your back heel, and then inhale, high lunge, bring your arms up. Keep pressing out through your back heel, sending your left hip back. Knit your lower ribs in. One more inhale. Exhale, twist to your right, extend your arms out. Keep pressing your left hip back. Stay committed to the bend in the front knee. Inhale, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, and the right hand goes down the back of the left thigh. And then here I want you to pay close attention to what's happening in your right shoulder area. So here we're going to deepen our twist by taking it into the pecs and the lats. And so this is the position we're going to want to look for in our tango to make space in our embrace when we have the hips facing forward and we're in this twisted position. Inhale, reach your right arm back up to center. Exhale, extended lunge. Reach your chest and arms forward. And then take all your weight into the front leg, one-legged mountain, coming up 
with a bend in your left knee. Exhale, twist to your left. Your right hand can come to the left knee. Reach your left arm long behind you. Root all four corners of the standing leg into the mat. And from this rooting, lift a little higher. Draw your belly button in towards your spine, slightly tilting the hips back. And hug your right hip in towards the center. Your gaze can go past your left shoulder. Once again, notice here, the hips are facing forward as you twist. This is what we're going to be looking for all the time in our baleos, in our pivots, in our basically the ochos that we're doing um, before we get into the baleo. Inhale, come back to center, and then bring your left hand to your knee, left knee, and take your knee out to the side. Reach your right arm out to the side. Gaze can go towards your right. And keep rooting, especially the inner edge of the standing leg in towards the center. So really engaging the inside of the leg here. Once again, this is going to be very important for us in our tango for rooting that standing leg. And then inhale, come back to center and cross your left leg over your right. We're going to come into Garudasana, Eagle Pose. Maybe you take your left foot behind the standing leg's calf. And then cross your left arm underneath your right. Bring your palms to touch. Walk your shoulders down your back and send your elbows away from your face. Draw your belly button in. And once again here, tilt your pelvis back, making space for that crossing leg. This is the same position we're going to be looking for in our baleos, our front baleos. So notice here you have your sits bone over your heel. And then keep your arms as they are and uncross your leg, slowly, gracefully, step your left leg back into a high lunge with eagle arms. So make enough space so that your front knee can stack over the ankle. And then release your arms, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, low crescent lunge. So bring your back knee down, untuck your toes. Press your hips forward, and just make sure that your front knee isn't going beyond your ankle. So if it is, just walk your foot out a little further, just to protect the knee here. On your next exhale, bring your right arm down by your side, and side bend to your right. Reach your left fingertips towards the right. And notice if you can create a little more space in your right hip. Then inhale your right arm back up. Exhale, bring your hands forward and take it back into downward facing dog. Take one deep breath here. Exhale it out. And then on your next inhale, reach your left leg long behind you. Exhale, open your hip, bend your knee. Once again, try to keep pressing equally into both hands. Inhale, square your hips back to center, reach the left leg long. Exhale, step it between your hands. Runner's lunge. Stack your left knee above your ankle. Press out through your back heel, engaging the back quad. Inhale, high lunge. Take your arms above you. Soften your ribs. Keep pressing out through your back heel. Draw your shoulders down your back. Exhale, twist to your left. Reach your arms long. 
and then keep drawing your right hip back. Notice how that leg is going to want to sickle in. This is the same thing that happens when we twist in tango in our ochos, right? So we want to make sure we keep that hip pulling back and drawing our left shoulder in towards the back foot. On your next inhale, reach your right arm up. Walk your left hand down your back leg. Once again, noticing here the opening through the pecs. Gazing past our left shoulder. And then inhale, reach your left arm back up. Exhale, extended lunge, reach your chest and arms forward. Building a little bit of strength here in the glutes and the outer hip. And then slowly bring all your weight into your left leg, coming into one-legged mountain. Right knee bends. And exhale, twist to your right. Bring your left hand to the front knee. Reach your right arm long behind you. And keep rooting into that bottom foot, especially pressing the inner edge of the foot and draw your left hip in towards your center. Inhale, reach both arms back up. Exhale, take your knee out to the side. Reach your left arm long. Once again, hug your left hip in towards your center. Keep rooting the inner edge of the bottom foot in. All four corners pressing down to lift a little higher. Inhale, bring your knee back to center and cross your right leg for eagle. Maybe you tuck the foot behind your calf and take your right arm underneath your left. Bring your palms together. Send your elbows forward. And take your hips back slightly, drawing your belly button up and in. And then keeping your arms like they are, Gently uncross the front leg and slowly try to do in one graceful step. Take a step back into high lunge. Release your arms, bring them up overhead. Exhale, take your back knee down to the floor for crescent, low crescent. Untuck your back toes. And once again, make sure that left knee isn't crossing the ankle. So if it is, walk your foot out a little forward. And press your hips forward. Draw your shoulders down your back. And then take your left hand down by your side. Reach your right fingertips towards the left side. And once again, see if you can make a little more space in your left hip. And inhale your left arm back up. Exhale, bring both hands down in front of you. Press your hips back for downward facing dog. Inhale, send your weight into your hands for high plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come up, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Reset your body, reset your mind. Okay, so now we're going to flow through that sequence a little bit quicker, breath to movement. And I want you to focus on the transitions more than perfecting these poses. 
so that now this be becomes kind of like a dance. All right, let's move. Inhale, reach your right leg behind you. Exhale, open your hip, bend your knee. Inhale, square your hips back to center, reach your right leg long. Exhale, step between your hands, root into the earth. Inhale, high lunge, sweep your arms above you. Exhale, twist to your right, extend your arms out. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Walk your back hand down your back leg. Exhale here. Inhale, bring your right arm back up to center. Exhale, extended lunge. Reach your arms and chest forward. And on your inhale, break, bring all your weight into your front leg. Coming into one-legged mountain, bend your left knee. Exhale, twist to your left. Right hand can come to the front knee, reach your left arm back. Inhale, both arms back up. Exhale, take your left knee out to the side. Reach your right arm out. Inhale, arms back up to center. Exhale, Garudasana, left leg crosses over your right. Left arm underneath your right, bring your palms together. And take one breath here to get rooted. And then gently uncross your leg and step back. High lunge, keep your arms in eagle arms. Inhale, release your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your back knee down for crescent. And walk your right arm down your side, reach your left fingertips to the right. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, bring your hands back in front of you and step back into Downward Facing Dog. We'll take one breath here and exhale it out. Inhale, reach your left leg long. Exhale, open your hip, bend your knee. Inhale, square your hip back to center, reach your leg long. Exhale, step between your hands. Root into your, the earth. Inhale, sweep your arms up, high lunge. Exhale, twist to your left, reach your arms long. Inhale, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling, left hand walks down the back leg. Inhale, your left arm back up. Exhale, extended lunge, reach your chest and arms forward. On your inhale, bring all your weight into your left leg. Coming into one-legged mountain, bend your right knee. Exhale, twist to your right, left hand to the front knee, right arm reaches back. Inhale, reach your arms above you. Exhale, take your right knee out to the side, bringing your right hand to the knee, left arm reaches out. Inhale, your arms back up. And on your exhale, take your left leg across your right, coming into eagle. Bring your left arm underneath your right, palms together. We'll take one breath to find our balance here. And then keeping your arms like this, slowly uncross your front leg. Reach your right leg back for high lunge. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, lower the back knee down for low crescent. And then take your left arm down your, your side, reach your right fingertips to the left. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale, take your hands forward and step your legs back into downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Send your weight forward into your hands into high plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come up, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat. Inhale, step forward, 
forward fold. Root into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms above you. And then we'll come into dancer's pose here. So take your right hand down by your side, bend your right knee, draw your knees in towards each other. With your right hand, grab onto your, your right foot and then begin to press your foot into your hand. And then from this pressing, reach your chest and left arm forward. Keep rooting the bottom foot in. Gaze on one point in front of you. Keep pressing that back foot into the hand. Little lift in the chest. So we don't want to dump all of our weight forward. And exhale, slowly release the back foot. Shake it out. Inhale your arms up, bring your left arm by your side, bend your left knee, grab onto the foot, draw your knees in towards each other, and then start to kick the left foot in towards the hand. And then from there, start to take your chest and right arm forward. Firm up the bottom leg. And try to keep your hips facing forward. Gaze on one point. Take one more breath coming into your deepest expression. Exhale, slowly release, shake it out. Inhale your arms above you. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and press your hips back into downward facing dog or flow through a vinyasa to get there. We'll take two deep breaths here. And then inhale, reach your right leg behind you. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat on the outside of your right hand for lizard's lunge. And begin to roll back and forth on the back foot. And then drop your back knee, untuck your toes. And either stay here or come onto your forearms. We'll be here for a couple breaths. So let yourself release. Try not to hold anything. Take one more deep breath here. And then if you're on your forearms, come back up onto your hands. Lift your back knee off the ground. And then here we've got a funky transition into a seated twist. So you're gonna take your left knee to the outside of your front foot, coming into a seat, keeping the right sole of the foot on the mat. And then extend, reach, reach your spine long. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, twist to your right. Left elbow can come outside of your right thigh. And the back hand can come behind you.
And then press your left elbow in towards your thigh, your thigh in towards your elbow, twisting a little deeper. Gaze can go past your right shoulder if it's okay on your neck. And then I want you to pay attention here to the position we have because this is very similar to a front baleo, right? So we've got the front leg crossing as we twist in the opposite direction. And I think it's a lot easier in this position to notice how the hips really stay facing in one direction as you twist away from that. So often when we're in the boleo, sometimes we don't have so much stability in the hip, but because we're sitting down, we can take this moment to really notice how the hip stays stable here as we twist deeper. And slowly begin to release, coming back to center. Walk your hands over to the left side and make your way into downward facing dog, facing the back of the mat this time. And inhale your left leg up. Exhale, lizards. Step your left leg to the front of the mat on the outside of your left hand. And start to roll back and forth on the back ball of your foot couple times and then drop the back knee untuck your toes and either stay here or come onto your forearms let yourself release into this pose Come back to your breath. If you're on your forearms, slowly come back up onto your hands. Lift your back knee off the ground. And here we've got that funky transition again into our seated twist. So take your right knee behind your left leg and then bringing it to the outside of the front foot. Make sure your hips are pointing forward. And inhale, reach your arms long towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist to your left. Right elbow comes onto the outside of the left thigh. The back hand can come down behind you. Press your right elbow in towards your thigh and your thigh into your elbow to find a little deeper twist. On every inhale, lengthen the spine a little bit. On your exhale, twist a little deeper. Just a few more breaths here. and then slowly release, walking your hands over to the right and all the way to the top of the mat, making your way back into downward facing dog, facing the top of the mat again. Inhale, look to the top of your mat, step or hop through, coming into a seat. Bring your feet to hips width apart, bending your knees, lengthen out your spine, and then slowly come down vertebrae by vertebrae. And we'll set up for a bridge pose here. So walk your heels in until your fingertips can graze your heels. 
all ten toes pointing forward, feet hips width apart, and then press into your heels, lift your hips up. Active through the hamstrings, active through the glutes here to lift. So a little bit of strength in our hamstrings and glutes are going to help with lifting our baleoing leg back a little bit more in back baleos and up a little bit higher in front baleos. Take one more breath. And on your exhale, slowly lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. And then go ahead and windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Release your lower back. And draw your knees in towards your chest. We'll set up for figure four here. So cross your right ankle just underneath your left knee. And thread your arms through your legs, grabbing onto the back of the left thigh. And then draw your legs in towards your chest. And Try to flex your, the toes to protect your knee. And then release your arms, stack your right knee on top of your left, and take your knees out to the left for a little supine twist. You can adjust your hips, so bring, bring them a little bit more in towards the center of your mat. And reach your right arm long. Try to keep both shoulders on the mat. And inhale both knees back to center. You can uncross the knees, setting up for figure four on the other side. Cross your left ankle over the right knee. Thread your arms through the legs. Grab onto the back of the right thigh. And draw your knees in closer towards your chest. Flexing your feet to protect the knees. Gently release your arms, stack your left knee on top of your right, and take your knees out to the right side, adjusting your hips as needed to bring them towards the center of your mat. Reach your left arm long by your side. Inhale, slowly bring your knees back to center. Hug both knees in towards your chest. And then if you'd like to take a Shavasana, feel free to pause the video here so you can take a nice long Shavasana as long as you'd like. If you're going into Shavasana, release your legs down and your arms by your side, palms facing up. And let go of any last little bit of tension. Otherwise, if you're ready to finish here with me, and begin to roll back and forth. 
until you roll up into a seat with your legs crossed. Sit up nice and tall, close your eyes. Bring your hands together at heart center. And take a moment to notice the difference in how your body feels from when you began. And then with your newfound awareness, take a moment to picture yourself in a boleo. You can plug your perfect partner into that vision as well if you'd like. And picture yourself doing a front boleo and a back boleo. And noticing what's strong and what's open. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.